পাইথাকো এমএলএ বিশ্বকে তো দেবর মন বিনি আসুক থানি নরিদিকা অবহায়ন কক্তমা থনি মুসনাগর শাখা বিধানসভানি স্পিকার রতন চক্রবর্তী আমরা গতকাল আপনাদের সঙ্গে আলোচনা করেছিলাম যে আমাদের একজন বিধায়ক বিশ্বকেতু দেব বর্মা শিমলা থেকে যিনি নির্বাচিত হয়েছিলেন ওনার ব্যাপারে দীর্ঘদিন যাবতই আমরা বিভিন্ন সময় হিয়ারিং এর ডেট দিয়েছি আলোচনা করেছি এবং সেখানে পিটিশনার রেসপন্ডেন্টকে ডেকেছি পিটিশনার এসছেন কিন্তু রেসপন্ডেন্ট আসেনি এবং তিনি যা যা কাজ করেছেন কোনোটাই আইনসম্মতভাবে হয়নি যেমন রেজিগনেশন উনি পার্টি থেকে যেটা রেজিগনেশন দিয়েছেন সেটা পার্টি অ্যাকসেপ্ট করেছে কিন্তু অ্যাসেম্বলি থেকে রেজিগনেশন উনি নিজে এসে দেননি কাজে সেটা অ্যাকসেপ্ট হওয়ারও কোনো সুযোগ ছিল না তো লাস্ট ইয়ারিংয়ের ডেট হিসাবে গতকাল আমরা ফিক্স করেছিলাম কিন্তু সেখানে এবারও তিনি হাজির হননি যদিও আমাদের পিটিশনার নরেন্দ্রচন্দ্র দেব বর্মা অসুস্থ থাকার ফলেও তিনি এফিডেভিট করে ওনার আইনজীবী মারফত ওনার বক্তব্য উপস্থাপিত করেছেন তো সব কিছু দেখার পর বিবেচনা বিচার বিবেচনা করে এবং আইনগত দিক অ্যান্টি ডিফেকশন ল বিল এগুলো সব দেখার পরে আমরা এই সিদ্ধান্ত উপনীত হয়েছি যে আমি কালকে এটা রিজার্ভ রেখেছিলাম যে যে আজকে ডিসিশনটা আমরা জানাবো সেই ডিসিশনের যে অর্ডারটা অর্ডারটা আমি আপনাদের পড়ে শোনাচ্ছি একটু শুনে তারপরে আপনাদের প্রশ্নের উত্তর আমি দেব দিস প্রসিডিং অ্যারাইজেস আউট অফ এন অ্যাপ্লিকেশন আন্ডার প্যারাগ্রাফ সিক্স অফ দি টেন্থ শিডিউল টু দ্য কনস্টিটিউশন অফ ইন্ডিয়া উইদ ইন ব্র্যাকেট দে আর ইন আফটার রেফার্ড টু অ্যাজ টেন্থ শিডিউল ফাইল্ড বাই শ্রী নরেন্দ্র চন্দ্র দেব বর্মা প্রেইং ফর determination of question as to whether the sole respondent Sri Vishwaketu Dev Burma, a member of the Tripura Legislative Assembly, here and after referred to as TLA, has become subject to disqualification for being a member of the House under the 10th schedule. The application is supported by an affidavit. The application contains prayer for declaration that the respondent Sri Vishwaketu Dev Burma has subjected himself to the disqualification under 10th schedule along with consequential orders devouring him from being a member of TLA as well as for declaring that the respondent has subjected himself and suffered further disqualification for being chosen as member of the TLA under Article 191 of the Constitution of India. The Speaker on 3-7-21 নোটিস দেয়ারব ওয়াজ ইস্যুড টু দি রেসপন্ডেন্ট শ্রী বিশ্বকেতু দেব বর্মা অন সিক্সটিন সেভেন টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান এলং উইথ এ কপি অব দি অ্যাপ্লিকেশন অ্যান্ড ইটস এন এক্সার পোস্টাল কনফার্মেশন রিগার্ডিং সার্ভিস অব দি নোটিস সেন্ড বাই সেন্ড বাই রেজিস্টার্ড স্পিড পোস্ট ওয়াজ রিসিভড ফ্রম দি সুপারিনটেন্ডেন্ট অফ পোস্ট অফিস আগরতলা পোস্টাল ডিভিশন ভাইড ইজ লেটার ডেটেড থার্টি সেভেন টোয়েন্টি ওয়ান However, even after service of notice, when no response was received from the respondent, my predecessor in office passed an order on 9-8-21 for allowing another opportunity for submission of reply within a period of 15 days to the respondent. The said order was duly communicated to the respondent, where after a written copy supported by an affidavit was received from the respondent Sri Vishwaketu Dev Burma on 27-8-2021. The respondent Sri Vishwaketu Dev Burma in his reply denied all the allegations made against him by the applicant. <coughs> from the pleading of the applicant, petitioner Sri Narendra Chandra Dev Burma, it appears that the allegation against the respondent is about indulging in anti-party activities as detailed in paragraph 5 and its three sub-paragraph which may be quoted verbatim as below. It will say that the above named respondent going against the party line and indulged in the following anti-party activities. Kiki anti-party activities which say Shita Petitioner Bodhise. That on 22nd February 2021 and on 6th May 21 the respondent made public statements supporting the Tipra Motha party, which is a political opponent, adversary to the adversary to the party. 
the recording of the public statements made by the respondent is uploaded in a page namely Chini Koran Tripura and Langma Kotal and the YouTube channel respectively. The YouTube links where a zone of exception has been carved out in the case of merger of original political party with another political party where the member concerned have either accepted the merger or opted out to function as a separate group. The present case is not under any of these eventualities or exceptions carved out under the paragraph 4 of the 10th schedule. The resultant inevitable conclusion is that the respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma has suffered disqualification on the ground of his voluntarily giving up membership from the political party IPFT and the question of disqualification is thus answered in affirmative in favor of the applicant. It is declared that respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma disqualified for being a member of this house under the mandate of paragraph 2 within bracket 1, within bracket A, of 10th schedule of the Constitution of India. Sutaran, Samos Tukitsu Bichar Bivetana Kure, Bharatiya Sambhidhane Dui within bracket act, within bracket A, 10th schedule, Er Mutabek, Samos Tukitsu Khotiye Dekhe, Amish Hiddhanti Uponitu Hoechi, he is disqualified from this assembly. was also opposed. Thereafter, dates of appearance of the parties were fixed on 5-10-21, on which date copy of the reply filed by the respondent was supplied to the petitioner who was present. The respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma was however absent. On the next date fixed, on 13-1-22, both the parties were asked to submit their respective documents in this, uh, in their support. 14 to 2022. Thereafter, several dates were fixed and adjourned at the instance of either the parties or even both them. Ultimately, the proceeding was fixed on 19 9 2022 for final hearing. The petitioner site had filed some documents on 16 6 22, while the respondent had already filed three documents by his letter dated 14 2 2022 along with a fristy, fristy of an actual one, two, three photograph of the resignation of MLA. Photocopy of resignation from IPFT party and the judgment copy of some Supreme Court cases. Totally covering 113. I had on my assumption that <coughs> Fish as Speaker had taken over the present proceedings on and from 27-9-2021. The moat question to be decided by me in exercise in my jurisdiction vested under 10th schedule as speaker is as to whether the respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma by means of his voluntarily giving up the membership of the political party to which he belonged at the relevant point of time had rendered himself subject to disqualification under 10th schedule. The applicant petitioner side has placed further evidences of the respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma having not obeyed the whip of the party on subsequent days. The respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma has also placed reliance on several precedent, uh, uh, precedents, ratio, whereof are not in dispute. However, for the purpose of determination of the sole issue, before me, it is appropriate and opposite to the answer, the moat question regarding the allegation of voluntary resignation of respondents Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma from IPFT and his legal effect. The factum of the respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma voluntarily giving up his membership of IPFT, the political party to which he belonged at the time of such tender in the resignation, is admitted by the respondent himself in his Readings. He tried to project that he had resigned as a member of the Legislative Assembly also. The respondent Sri Vishwaku Dev Burma is thus 
squarely within the vice of disqualification mandated under paragraph 2 within bracket 1 within bracket A of 10th schedule. The only exception against application of the mandates of paragraph 2 within bracket 1 within bracket A and marked as an excerpt A and an excerpt B stored in sealed pen drive herewith. This is true to best of my knowledge. I had a cause that in open manifestation of his anti-party activity and also in told defiance of the unity of the IPFT legislator party in the TLA, the respondent filed a letter dated 29-6-21 addressed to the speaker of TLA inter alia voluntarily resigning from the membership of the TLA. The respondent never took any permission from any competent forum of the party before subject, submitting his resignation letter dated 29-6-21. A copy of the aforesaid letter dated 29-6-21 is annexed annex C. This is true to the best of my knowledge that the respondent tender his resignation letter 29-6-21 with an aim to reduce the strength of the IPFT legislator party in the house and thereby also jeopardize the strength of BJP IPFT coalition in the house has been indulged by the respondent with the <coughs> sole motive to weaken the IPFT under whose banner the respondent was elected to the Tripura Legislative Assembly. The anti-party activities is mentioned above and resignation later dated 29-6-21 clearly amount to voluntarily giving up membership of IPFT political party attaching disqualification as a member of the TLA and he is liable to be declared disqualified with a further declaration that he shall also be disqualified to be chosen as a member of the TLA in future by virtue of the bar under the article 191 within bracket 2 of the constitution of India. This is to the best of my knowledge. To par contra, the respondent Vishwagutu Dev Burma in his reply denied the allegations of anti-party activities leveled against him by its sub-paragraph, a paragraph of 5 of the petition as above. However, as regards the allegations in paragraph 5 within bracket B of the petition of respondent stated that he had tendered his resignation voluntarily before the Honorable Speaker due to his personal reason. As regards allegations in paragraph uh, 5 within bracket C, the respondent Sibishukutu Dev Burma contended that there is no malafide or ill motive intention or means via on his part to reduce the strength of IPFT legislator party in the house, nor there was any intention to jeopardize the strength of IPFT BJP coalition in the house. Oh, well, I have read in front of you. Sir, is there any bar on contesting elections for him? This term, uh, he will not be able to contest any election. <coughs> After this term, uh, we have already sent it to the election commission. Election Commission, after uh, judging pros and cons of the case, merit of this case, they will decide whether he will be able to contest in the next ensuing election or not. What is the normal procedure if in case of disqualification? Practically, so, so many uh, clause, sub clauses are there. Uh, according to my knowledge, I know that this term it is not possible if there is any election whether it may be a um, by-election or like this, he cannot contest. But after that, that will be decided by the election commission. And sir, um, Vishwakutu himself was claiming he had uh, submitted a resignation. Why that was not accepted? No, no. How? He doesn't know. This is very sad that one member is an educated person. He doesn't know how to render or submit his resignation from the TLA. He should come physically and to hand over his resignation to the speaker. But he has not gone through that. He sent it through post. the messenger by post. With the permission of this party. Uh, 
Not only that, that process was wrong and it is it, it cannot be accepted by the TLA, by the speaker. And at the same time, when a member of a political party who is elected from his party symbol and party nomination, he cannot submit any resignation or he cannot violate any type of uh, whip from the party for after money obtaining no permission from the party from any competent authority he uh, himself submitted his resignation so this way also he has violated the norms and he has got money he is under the anti defection rule so in that case from all sides practically it, it is delayed due to his um, um, a denial that he has not violated any uh, party mandate or any uh, party rule but it is established that he has violated all the norms all the party rules and regulations and directly he denied the whip which was given by the party for vote in favor of the BJP and PFT candidate in the last Rajya Shobha election. He was not present at all. I see. Uh, you are mentioning about uh, one <coughs> website, I believe, and then and, and, uh, YouTube link also. Yeah. So, so you have gone through it. Uh, what is the video all about? Yeah. What is the video all about? What is the... Practically, he has uh, clearly he has stated that I have left the IPFT and I joined, I, I am joining Tipramatha and he took the Tipramatha flag. All this thing, it is, it is clear. And in the newspaper also, it has come as a statement. He never contested or challenged that statement. Sir, after 